Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Equipment. My name's Adrian and today we're going to look at the HYM 60LI Lawn Mower. So I've emptied the contents of your packaging out on the bench here for you to see. First of all we've got the mower itself with its two parts of handles on top and the cabling already attached so we'll treat that as one part. Then we've got your grass collecting basket, a little bit of assembly to do there, we'll go through that. We have your battery, your battery charger, there are two cam handles for joining the top and bottom handle together, again with two plastic washers, two bolts and there are two barrel nuts. Also in your packaging you'll have a comprehensive user manual. Now I do recommend that you read your user manual thoroughly before use. Let's start with the assembly of your 45 litre grass collection basket. This wire part which is folded on top actually folds right down into the front and if you give it a little pull it will actually click into position at 90 degrees to the basket ready for use. And then you will see around the outside of the basket there are little plastic loops which just hook on to this wire bar. So I'll just do that quickly. There we go. And that's the grass collection basket fully assembled. My next step will be to assemble the handles on the lawnmower. So the first thing I'll do is if I take the upper handle and lower handle, I'll put the upper handle over here out of the way for the time being. And then we'll talk about these little cam locks. Now, when it arrives to you, this is all loose, and so you may need to tighten up these handles. Simply rotate them a few turns until you find when you cam them over, that it locks up on the two splines. So it may take three or four goes, another turn there, maybe another one. Okay, maybe one more turn. And what you'll find is that they will simply come over on the cam and lock the handle in place. Not a great deal of effort, but enough just to lock it there securely. I'll do exactly the same on this side. A little bit too tight that one. And do again and that's locked it securely. So that's the bottom handle in position. Now what you will find is that you could loosen these off and adjust the height of the handle for operation to suit yourself. But I'll start with it in this position roughly. And then we'll move on to joining the upper and lower handles together. So if I take the two bolts and pass them through the holes in the top of the lower handle, that one through there and this one just in here, I can then take the upper handle, taking care not to trap the cable, place it over that bolt, bring this one into position and pop this bolt through the hole as well and I can just swivel it down out of the way temporarily. So if I take a washer, a barrel nut and the cam handle, you will see that the washer has a half round undercut in one side and is quite flat on the other. If I place that undercut over the bolt so that the undercut lines up with the shaft of the upper handle. Then take the little barrel nut, place it inside, just line it up on the end of the bolt, and I'll screw it loosely into position. Not quite, a little bit fiddly just to get it started. And there we are. I'll give that a couple of turns and repeat the operation on the other side. So again on the other side you're doing exactly the same, looking for the half round groove, putting that against the upper bar, put the little barrel nut through the handle, and just line up the thread in the hole in the nut, and say so it's just a little bit fiddly to get it started, there we are that's that ready. So now I can move the upper handle up into its user position 
and try the cam lock. Now that's really, really floppy. Give it another revolution. Try it again, a bit more. I could probably do one more. Just so that it takes a little effort just to close it. Same on this side. Let's give this a try. Maybe a little bit more. And that's it. So now we need to move on to tidying this cable up. So to tidy up the cables, firstly, let me just bring this bracket out of the way. Tuck the cable into this little clip here at the bottom, leaving a bit of spare. Put that one back. And then secondly, you'll see that you have this clip here, which can go onto the bar. Something like that, just to keep the cables tidied out of the way of the grass collection box. To charge the battery, use the battery charger provided and simply slot in your battery from the end, pushing it home firmly, and then plug it in to a normal 13 amp mains outlet at 240 volts. To remove the battery, switch off from the mains and remove the battery. To fit the battery to your lawnmower, simply lift up the flap at the front, place the battery in the hole and push home firmly until you hear a click and you will see that the lights come on. To remove the battery for charging, again simply open the flap, push down on the red lever and withdraw the battery. And that's changing the battery. So having charged and fitted the battery, let's talk about the controls of the lawnmower. First of all, there are three things that you need to start the mower. This rear handle is the operator present control handle or OPC handle and the mower won't start unless this handle is pulled right back. Second to that, this is the operator key. Now it can be removed from the mower and you can wear it around your wrist or what have you, um, but it is the key. When this key is removed, the mower will do absolutely nothing. And if you remove the key, it will stop any authorized persons using your mower. So first we need to fit the key to allow it to work. Secondly, you need to push this button and then pull back on the OPC handle. The blade of the mower will now rotate. If you at any time release this handle, the motor will stop, the blade will come to a stop, and even though if you pull this handle again, the mower will not start unless you push this button and then pull the handle back. And at any time to stop, simply release the handle. When you're storing the mower, take away the key to stop anybody starting it that isn't authorized. So to start it, in with the key, push the button, pull the handle. To stop, release the handle. Your lawnmower has a six position, single point height adjuster. Fully forward, away from the operator is the lowest position of the mower. And by pulling the handle away from the mower and right back, that would be the highest position for the height of the cutting blades above the ground. Simple operation, pull it away from the mower and you can drop between the various six different heights. So fully forward would be to cut the grass at its shortest and fully back would be for the longest cut. So that's your single point height adjuster. So to fit the basket, simply lift the flap, place the basket in, down over the pegs and shut the lid and that's the basket fitted. And again, to empty the basket, lift up the flap and simply take the basket away. Just as a safety note, never remove the basket when the blades are still spinning. When you let go of the handles, allow the blades time to stop spinning before you remove the basket. Should you wish to fold the handle up for storage of your lawnmower, I'd recommend that you pull out the key so that you can't inadvertently start it. You can release the four cam handles, simply release them, fold the bottom handle forward and the top handle back and you can remove your grass collection basket and place it on top for compact stowage. Well I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products simply visit www.hyundaipowerequipment.co.uk I've been Adrian and happy mowing.